Hey, today I'm doing something different. I'm setting up for some solo recordings from my podcast. I'm going to record my intros and I'm going to set up my family room here. Now, if you follow me on social media, you're aware that I record my podcast interviews right here in my family room. I'm going to quickly turn this camera around so you can take a look at what I'm working with here. Now, the interview chairs that I use are right here and right here in front of this fireplace. That's where the interview takes place. All this is pushed against that wall. Now, why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because, fuck man, sometimes people need to see the nitty gritty shit so they get inspired because I don't have a fucking studio. I gotta make it work. I gotta make it happen. And I'm gonna show you my equipment right now. Now, I've done this before. I've gone into my garage where I keep my equipment. So let's go in there right now. Okay, in my garage where I store my equipment, if you remember before, that's where I keep it. But I got something new here. I got a rack from uh, where I work for free and I decided to use that uh, to store my equipment. So I've got my soft boxes, I've got some camera stands, I've got some uh, C stands. My microphones are in that uh, little bucket pail thing there going on there. I got my headphones, end tables, the whole shebang. Now why am I showing you this? Again, because I know you like the nitty gritty shit. It's not pretty, it's the end result that matters. Now, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna set it up, and the end result is what we're looking for. So back in my family room here, I'm gonna clean up all my daughter's toys. All oh, these girls just love making a wreck and having fun. I gotta clean all this up and set all this up right here, centered with that fireplace. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so I set everything up. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. I'll put the uh, items in the description of this episode with the prices and where I got them. The prices may have changed since I bought them, but you'll get a rough idea. So let's take a, a quick look here real quick at what I got going on here. First of all, I'm adding some, some ambiance with candles. I was going to originally have a two camera set up for this solo recording. Here's one. I was going to put another one over here so that, you know, this, this candle would show within the, the camera view, but, um, I decided to nix that. These are smart LED can light bulbs. You can get those anywhere. I got these on Amazon. These are all smart bulbs, but I'm just using these two right now to kind of give the, 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 the backdrop, give it some hue. Some LED floor lights. These are uh, with remote. It's a two pack. I got these on Amazon at well. These are dope as fuck. They were pretty affordable and I've used these for about a year. I'm happy with them. They change color and temperature. Um, so right now I'm just using it to kind of shine a light on this plant here. These are Shure 58 microphones. I know it's hard to tell. Uh, you can get these cheap pop filters at Amazon. Uh, you can get bundles of those. Mic flags, uh, impactpbs.com. That's where I went to get those custom made. They're good quality. You can get those anywhere too. It just depends on, you know, how much you want to spend. Um, and the mic stand, the mic stand. Is it Samson? Okay. I bought these mic stands like a three pack. I'll provide that in the description as well. These Godox soft boxes are dope. And I got these that come with a grid. Uh, it just funnels the light more so where I want it and kind of dims it down a little bit. These are Godox uh, lights. These are affordable. Um, they weren't the most expensive and they weren't the cheapest. C stands, get yourself a C stand, okay? Because you're gonna wanna hang a light over and uh, these will provide more stability than a regular light lamp or stand, excuse me. I don't have any weights at the end of this, I just don't need them. Listen, when it comes to recording the audio for my podcast, I'm really, really easy breezy with this. I don't get too complicated. I've been using Audacity, which is a free software you download on your computer or laptop. I use it on my laptop. It, it's good enough for me. And like I said, I've been using it for two, two years now. Um, so I'll show that to you real quick here. Here's my laptop. It's connected to my Focusrite Scarlet, red Scarlet over here. I've got my microphone plugged into this. I typically will have my headphones also plugged into this, but I'm not using headphones today. And last but not least, this right here, this is uh, something that I'm like excited about because uh, it, it just stepped up the, the visual aspects of the podcast uh, for me personally, but this right here, I've got a, a Sony a 6400 camera. Um, 
with this lens and FE 1.850. I do know right off the bat that this camera pretty much cost about 950, give or take. And the lens is probably about 2, 250. But it was worth it for me. I YouTubed it, I looked it up, um, and, and people were really suggesting this for beginners. So I got that. So that along with this Joel Can stand, uh, this is sturdy. I've got three of these. These two, these, uh, these two right here, I got two of these, forgive me. Four different levels it goes up. Plus, you can crank this bad boy up. It steps up uh, probably about 71, 72 inches high. You know, like I said, uh, I'm learning as I go here. So this isn't your average run-of-the-mill type of review or setup. But man, I tell you, this... This is how I do it so far, and it's working. It's working. So look, I, I, I understand this was rushed. I understand it was rushed, but listen, I'm gonna add the prices of these into the description, and keep in mind, it's the end result that matters. The only thing that's kinda killing me right now is obviously, I got daylight coming through the window, so I gotta go. I gotta go get ready. I gotta you know, freshen up for my recording. Hopefully by the time I'm ready, the sun has gone down more, and, I'll have a better color to the video. Also, real quick, I like listening to music while I'm setting up for my podcast. So I have a playlist called Lovely, and I have another one called Chill. And I just listen to this stuff while I'm setting up. It puts me in the mood mentally. And I'm going to share that in the description of this episode in case y'all would like to follow along my podcast playlist on Spotify. It'll be there. I don't know what I'm doing all the time. I'm learning as I go, but people have been asking me, hey, how do you set up for a podcast? How do you do your podcast? So I thought I would just share it. So if you've got better tips, instead of shitting on me, why don't you share them? Because I'm all about uh, educating myself and learning different things. And if you find this video helpful, fuck, follow a brother. Subscribe to the podcast. Shit, even go to the jmcpod.com website and buy yourself a mug. Fuck. I appreciate y'all. Peace.